Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come out and show you all the new holiday food offerings for the month of November. I know we got some Santa Claus crepes, we've got some Christmas nachos, a holiday Thanksgiving burger over at Deluxe Burger, and also the new additions to Gideon's. I always love coming during the holidays. They have the Christmas tree trail up, playing Christmas music, and it's just putting me in the holiday spirit. Anywho's, let's go do this. The first thing I always plan on doing if I come to Disney Springs is head on over to Gideon's to get a virtual queue. And then I wanna pick up a map to actually do the Christmas tree trail. The wait times to get into Gideon's could be anywhere from two to five hours. So that's why you wanna get a virtual queue as soon as you get here, because then you can go around and actually do other things while you're waiting in a virtual line. I'm so excited to see all the holiday decorations and all the Christmas lights and listen to music. The holidays at Disney Springs get better and better every single year. I love these holiday decorations right here. They're really cute and there's a lot more. I'm wearing my new Gremlins Roosevelt shirt right here and I feel like that is a controversial like holiday movie. I feel like it's a Christmas movie. Let me know in the comments if you guys think Gremlins is a Christmas movie. I mean it's kind of like Die Hard. Some people think Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I think Gremlins is. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people in the return queue for Gideon so hopefully the virtual wait time isn't like five hours. Maybe an hour, maybe two. We might get lucky. The virtual wait time is 2 hours and 40 minutes. So we're going to have 2 hours and 40 minutes to walk around Springs and find some other holiday food. And then we can come back here and get some cookies and coffees. And I'm so excited. They gave me a little menu for the month of November. And I'll show you what the uh, November offerings are. Here is the menu for November. And I've been collecting these because I like them so much. So I got a nice little stack at home. And the new cookie for November is the Calavera cookie, which is kind of like a chocolate chocolate churro cookie and I also hear it has a little spice to it but they have a peanut butter banana cake slice that I really need to try I love peanut butter banana and that's gonna be amazing they also have an Andy's mint cookies and cream cake slice so we're gonna be back in uh, two hours and 40 minutes one of my favorite things about the holidays at Disney Springs is the holiday hangar bar over at Jock Lindsay's. And we're actually gonna come back to that a little bit closer to our two hour window time because we have to be back here. So we'll make like a, like a circle or 360 around Disney Springs and then come back so we can do Jock Lindsay's holiday bar and Gideon's. And that'll be a way to cap off the night. I'm gonna try to show you guys as many holiday food offerings as I can, but I'm not gonna be able to order everything, so if I see something, I'm gonna show you. And I seen this sign right outside, and look at that. They've got red velvet cannolis, and those are actually really holiday festive. But on the other side, this is still from Halloween, I would believe, or maybe Thanksgiving, they've got pumpkin cannolis. That sounds really, really good. It is always very difficult to pick and choose the things that I want to try. I want to show things to you that are kind of like unique so that way I can like give you guys a better perspective of whether or not you want to get it when you come visit the Springs. So I'm going to focus on like the Christmas nachos, the Santa Claus crepe with eggnog custard sounds pretty unique so I want to try that and some other things you know we'll pick and choose as we go. We've got hours to spend. Right outside the boathouse, they have some snowman bobs. So there's snowman like decorations, but they're fishing bobs it looks like, I think, or just water bobs. I kind of like them, they're really unique. Some items are actually really hard to get. You have to be here early because they sell out, especially at the bakeries and at Amaretts and stuff like that. And one of the places I always miss is Kate McKinnon's Bakery because they always sell out of the seasonal items. So we're gonna try today. And this one's really cool because it is dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free, and certified kosher. And I always miss out on these things because they sell out. It looks like their uh, seasonal item is a pumpkin crumb cake. Tis the season, stop in for a slice or order ahead for delivery or pickup. You can have things delivered. I wonder, I have to try this. I mean, I wouldn't mind having things delivered to my house. I know that I can get Uber Eats uh, from Earl Sandwich and Chicken Guy, but I don't know if I can get Aaron McKinnon's because that would be awesome. I like how they have a list of bakery rules in here that I'm going to show you that are kind of funny. 
bakery rules, a bakery free from harmful ingredients, and cute uniforms. And take a look at all these items. This is amazing. Even the cupcake tops. They have tops to cupcakes. Brownies, pumpkin pie, apple pie, all the good stuff. They have a lot of holiday offerings. Right here is the pumpkin crumb cake. And then they have a cranberry cinnamon scone down here. And then over here, we have some snowflake sugar cookies along with a gingerbread tea cake and an apple cranberry toasty. It all looks so amazing though, doesn't it? And here it is. Let's take a look-see. Oh. It looks very pretty. I'm gonna have to pull it out a little bit so I can show you. Oh wow, that is so awesome. Isn't it so amazing that it's dairy free and egg free? And I, I don't know, I can't wait to try it. It looks so good though. We're gonna have to take a nice little fork bite here. A pumpkin crumb cake to start off the day. Here we go. Wow. That is really, really good. Holy moly. I feel like Disney Springs is becoming like Epcot. Not too many places to actually grab something to eat. So I grab the trash can and then I flip my box upside down so that way I can eat off top of the trash can but still kind of be like off of the trash can. You know what? A nice glass of cold milk would go great with the pumpkin crumb cake. Or a coffee. A coffee would be perfect. We're gonna move along, but I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite Christmas decorations from last year. It's the peanut reindeer. Look at these guys. Aren't they so cute? I love it. It kind of reminds me of Gracie. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I see a dog, it reminds me of my dog. <laughs> I just realized I didn't get my Christmas tree trail map. This is a really fun free activity that you could do while you're down here and you actually go around and it's like a scavenger hunt. You have to find the Christmas trees around. I'm going to show you a couple of them but I don't want to show you all of them because it's a scavenger hunt and you actually have to like match the stickers with the tree and at the end you get a button so you win a prize and I don't want to spoil that for you but I'll show you a couple of them but not all of them. Take a look at this. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas tree. And I actually like this a lot. I don't remember this from last year, but this is really pretty. Very fancy. Now we're gonna go find our next holiday treat. And this is gonna be another first for me. You know, eating at Aaron McKinnon's for the first time. And now the crepe stand that actually is brand new. It's only been here, I think maybe a year. And I've never gotten a crepe here before, but I had to come out and try the Santa Claus crepe. Santa Claus crepe. But hold the phone, it looks like the crepe stand doesn't open until 4 p.m. Wow, that was a shocker. I wouldn't understand why this wouldn't be open earlier. But I guess uh, we'll have to come back and get it a little bit later on. We're not that far off, I think it's about two o'clock now. And we still have to wait around for Gideon, so maybe we'll swing back around. I really wanna try the Santa Claus crepe. I guess it's good to know that it's only open 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. But on the weekends, it's 12. It's afternoon, 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, we just kind of got the wrong day or the bad day. That's okay because I have a perfect place to go for our next holiday treat. But take a look at this tree right here. This is the Disney Junior one. And it's kind of like a Spider-Man. It has a lot of spider webs and Mickey Mouse. I like it. This one's a cute little tree. The next treat is probably the most eye-catching holiday treat. When I first saw this, I was like, okay, I've got to try that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. So we got to try it to know, and you just got to. You got to do it. Right here at the Marketplace Snacks, they have the Peppermint Bark Nachos, the Christmas Nachos, and I'm super excited. Christmas Nachos, and uh, yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff here. They have a lot of Dole Whip Nachos. I remember they had a Dole Whip Nacho, and I think they just swapped out that for the Peppermint Bark ones. Here is a look of all that is in the Peppermint Bark Nacho. It's a waffle cone chips topped with white chocolate and peppermint swirled soft serve, M&M's, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and candy cane sprinkles, all for $9.29. Look at it. Doesn't it look so merry and bright? Oh, there it is. <laughs> 
there is so much happening right here i don't even know how to actually eat it that is a lot isn't it it looks so good though i honestly i, don't, I just think i'm gonna go right down the side here just get a little bit of everything Then again, instead of spooning it, I think I'll use the waffle cone because they have red and green waffle cones and I'll use that to actually eat the ice cream with the M&Ms, the sprinkles and the chocolate sauce. That is a lot. So I think I'm just gonna take a bite just like this. Okay. <laughs> this whole Sunday is $9 and I definitely think this should be split between two people. I will not be finishing this like that is a lot but I'm excited to see if the waffle cones get like a little bit soggy as it sits actually in the swirl mix I like the end like you know the last couple bites of like a banana split or any sundae where all the ingredients kind of just blend together is my favorite and I'm sure this one is actually really delicious we had a red cone now we got a green cone <laughs> The peppermint is actually really, really strong into this one. Very delicious. I, I suggest getting this and sharing it. It is definitely big enough. It's $9 too, that's so affordable. And I like the uh, peppermint sprinkles because they're actually like little sprinkles, but they're candy cane sprinkles. Do you see it? Very clever. This is seriously so good, but I feel like I'm gonna have to retire on it. And I feel bad that I'm not gonna be able to finish it all, but it's a lot, you know what I mean? I wanted to show you guys, uh, I would actually eat this like if I wasn't eating a bunch of other stuff today, but I already know I plan on having a little bit of the crepe. I had some pumpkin scone, I wanna have a turkey burger. You know what I mean? I, I wanna have a lot of other things, so I'm gonna not eat so much of it. Well, now we've had two kind of like treats, so I think I want to actually get some food food, and maybe we'll go get the uh, like Thanksgiving turkey burger over at Deluxe Burger. That's something that I've been interested in. They have a lot of actual different food items, like holiday food items. I just kind of was thinking the turkey burger would be fun, because I normally don't eat turkey burgers, I usually just eat hamburgers, but I think turkey burgers are a little bit of a healthier option. And that's why I was excited to actually get the uh, bakery item from Aaron McKenna's, because that's actually a healthier option as well. And uh, I'll try to show you some of the other items, like I know they have some poutine, and my favorite, the polite pig, they have some holiday offerings, so I'll show you those, but I think I'm gonna eat the turkey burger here is the daily poutine and they have a gobbler poutine with turkey brown gravy cranberry chutney and cheese curds that actually looks really really good and then also look at the Arendelle aqua punch look at it as it actually swirls around in there isn't that majestic a trip to Disney Springs isn't complete without stopping to polite pig and I just want to see what holiday favorites they have I already know I get in the turkey burger over at Deluxe Burger, but maybe you want to eye up something next time we come. Looks like the Polite Pig actually has an open-faced turkey smash, which is kind of like a Thanksgiving dinner, a turkey din-din. And it's $18, it's Texas toast, mashed potatoes, cornbread stuffing, turkey gravy, and cranberry barbecue. Wow. You know, I actually might come back because I don't have any plans for Thanksgiving and I'm not too sure where I'm going to have Thanksgiving dinner at. Probably somewhere at Disney property, but that actually might be an option because, I mean, I love the smoked turkey here, so maybe we'll be back for that. Okay, now I'm starting to get hungry. I was in a polite pig and that place is so, so good. But now we're going to make our way to Deluxe Burger to try the Deluxe, the Deluxe, the Deluxe, the Deluxe Burger, the Deluxe. I like it. I tried to mobile order the uh, holiday burger, but I'm not seeing it on here. So I don't know if I can actually mobile order it or if I just actually have to go in and order it. It's kind of funny because I always just think that you have to mobile order it because that's how it used to be, where the only way you can actually get food is mobile ordering. But now we have the option that we can just go into places and I kind of like that. The menu out front actually doesn't say anything about the burger either, so I'm kind of confused. I don't know if they have one or not, or if it's just a regular turkey burger that they've always had. They got the Christmas decorations up though, so I don't see why not. 
Well, shocking twist again. First, the crepe stand doesn't open at four, and I don't think they have a holiday turkey burger out yet. I think it's actually gonna come out soon, but I don't think it's ready yet, because I didn't see it in the app, and I didn't see it on the menu, and then I asked inside, and they didn't know what I was talking about. So, I mean, I seen pictures of it, I, I Googled it, and I did see it, and it had like a cranberry uh, like sauce on it, and it had risotto, and it, was, it looked really fancy, but maybe it's not out for a little bit. Anywho's, I think we can go back to the play pig now and have Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, <laughs> it's not that bad. As we make our way back though, I wanna show you the Disney Springs Christmas tree. This is the main, main tree right here. And it's so beautiful and at nighttime, it's actually gonna snow. Like they spray snow, right there's the snow cannons. I want a snow cannon. I'd have fun with that for hours. It'd be really fun. And I also like how they have the lights on the palm trees. Adds a nice little Florida Christmas touch. I hope I'm not missing out anything on the deluxe burger, like the turkey burger. I've had a deluxe burger before and it was good. I mean, it wasn't the best burger in the world, but I never had the turkey patty. If you had the turkey patty, let me know in the comments. And if you do plan on coming down here, or if you had the holiday one, let me know because, I mean, I, I just didn't see it and I asked. So, you know, I mean, it's not so bad. I love polite pig and I was excited to try the turkey dinner here anyway. And it also looks like there's hardly any weight on the inside. So that is absolutely amazing. They do have a woodchuck cider and a pumpkin mudslide cocktail. Might get the pumpkin mudslide cocktail to go with it. Because that sounds really, really good. I like pumpkin, I like mudslide, and I like cocktails. The best thing is you get to sit down outside and actually enjoy your meal. Luckily, I got a table that has an umbrella and it's starting to rain. So I'm actually sitting outside eating in the rain. I'm eating in the rain, just eating in the rain. First things first, a pumpkin mudslide cocktail. And look at this. I don't even know what's in it. It just is a special, so it's a handwritten sign. But it smells great, it looks great, and I cannot wait to try it. I mean, look at that. Wow. That is good. Well, this is the first holiday themed beverage I've had for basically November and December. And I have to say, it's gonna be hard to beat that. I plan on having a lot more holiday beverages, you know, holiday monorail crawls and holiday Skyliner crawls. But this right here is so delicious. It's like a dessert and a cocktail mixed together. And I love pumpkin and it's a frozen beverage as well. This is super, super good, wow. Seriously, so, so good. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> well, I am a big fan of the pumpkin mudslide cocktail, but can we just talk about this turkey smash? Holy moly, doesn't this look so amazing? I can't, I, when they brought it out, I was kind of just like, uh, like honestly, like in awe and drooling, but that looks so good. A cranberry barbecue sauce, turkey gravy, cornbread stuffing. I cannot wait to try this. And to think I was gonna wait to actually get this. I am so happy that things played out the way that they did. And wow, this might be like, a really good Thanksgiving meal. Like if you're down here and you don't have family like me and uh, you need like a Thanksgiving meal, this would be really good to come and try, I think. Look at this bad boy. Wow. <laughs> a little bit of everything in one bite. We got some turkey, some cornbread stuffing, some cranberry barbecue, some Texas toast and gravy. Here we go. Wow. That is so, so good. Oh. <laughs> it is very, very delicious. I can taste all the smokiness in there. Now, the only thing is, is when it comes to like a traditional Thanksgiving dinner, I kind of wouldn't like think of this per se only because you got like that cranberry barbecue and you got that smoky turkey flavor. It doesn't taste like Thanksgiving dinner, but 
it is so delicious like it is amazing I, I honestly I'm kind of like blown away by it and I didn't get a lot of taste of the cornbread stuffing so I think I'm gonna try a little bit of that on its own because you know stuffing makes the meal and for me I think it does the stuffing alone is so good oh yeah wow that is amazing I wish they would have that as a side I'd get it all the time like I said it doesn't feel like Thanksgiving dinner, but it is so amazing. <laughs> it is kind of like mind-blowing because it is, I mean, overall, it's Polite Pig's Thanksgiving dinner. It's a turkey smash, but it's like such a unique flavor. I love it. And I like the cranberry barbecue sauce too. That actually mixes really well. But my favorite is probably the smoky turkey and the cornbread stuffing. Those two together just make this meal amazing. Polite Pig keeps its long-running reputation of not disappointing. Still my favorite quick service location here at Disney World. And that turkey dinner was amazing. It's $18 too, that's not bad at all. In a restaurant, you probably pay like 30 for that. Now it's time to actually move along. As we were sitting there, we killed a lot of time and actually our Gideon's time actually got called. So we're gonna head over to Gideon's now. I asked what was in the pumpkin mudslide cocktail and they told me it was cappuccino mix, ice cream, pumpkin flavored vodka, and then a coffee liqueur and it was so delicious. But I also want to point out, it's, not, it's kind of funny because I point it out every time, but uh, we're going to head over to Gideon's now and did you know that Gideon's first started selling cookies at Disney Springs here at Polite Pig. So they were selling, like the Polite Pig here, was here for a while and they were selling Gideon's cookies inside here before the store opened up. So you can kind of think Polite Pig that, that we have Gideon's. Isn't that kind of mind blowing? As we're walking past Sprinkles, I realize we need to keep with our tradition and we need to get Gracie her pup cup, her little doggy cupcake, and we'll see if the ATM's up and running. I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, nope. We got the arrow here. So maybe we'll have to come back because it looks like there's a big line in there. But we won't forget about her. We have to get to our Gideon's virtual queue though. Looks like the line has grown a little bit here at Gideon's. Definitely got a lot more people waiting. So they might have called people. And I think I got called a little bit early, not too early, but it's been about two, maybe two and a half hours. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to stick to the Calivari cookie. I don't know if I can get the peanut butter banana cake slice. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could and I can put it in my freezer or take it home. You know, I don't wanna miss out on that and I don't know when it'll be back again. So maybe I'll get it and then take it home and I can eat it with Gracie as she has her pup cake. But we've had a lot of sweets today and you know, I still wanna get the Santa Claus crepe that uh, is probably open by now. Yeah, it is definitely open. So we'll have to stop over there. And we have made it inside. The three little ones, Halloween 2021. These are actually really cool. I just love the smell in here. You know, I might actually end up getting a pumpkin candle to take home with me. I ran out of my uh, one that I got, I think back in September. I already burned it all up, so I need a new Gideon's candle too. Here is a look at all of the cakes. And wow, some of them look so, so good. But that peanut butter banana one, it's been calling me. But I can't, I, you know, I don't know if I can get it or not. And then over here is the Andy's Mint Cookies and Cream. And you can see on the outside of the cake, it's just covered in little bits of Andy's Mints. And I like that. But it calls me. Here is some of the candles. They don't have a new one for November yet, but they still have the pumpkin chai cold brew candle, which is really good. I have that one, and then I have this one too. This is from, I think the month before. That's the key lime one. And then this one is the coffee cake one. Both of them are just, all three of them are amazing. But I think I'll wait to see if a December one comes out. As we were actually inside Gideon's, it started downpouring. So I didn't get my beloved peanut butter banana cake. Only because I don't got an umbrella and it, it was pouring rain so I didn't want to carry it around and it gets soaking wet. So I'm gonna have to come back to Gideon's eventually and get my cake. But I did get the cookie for November and that was the most important thing, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, twist my arm, gotta come back to Gideon's. Oh, got me. <laughs> All right, here it is. I already unwrapped it a little bit, but I can't wait to show you this bad boy in the light. They looked completely different when you actually see that like outside of the case. And look at that. Can you see the cinnamon on there? 
Wow. This is gonna be good. Now, they did say there's a little bit of spice, but not too much. And you can see a lot of cinnamon on there. Here it is. We're gonna break it in half here. Look at that. <laughs> so good. Look at that filling right in between there. I can't wait to bite into it. Here we go, first bite. That is so, so good. The inside's kind of like a cake. Like it's really cakey and delicious. Oh, and it's ass so soft. Look at it, it's falling apart. I'm glad that landed on my paper. That would have been sad. Cookie down, put that cookie down. <laughs> I can't wait to see what uh, holiday or December cookie that comes out. That's going to be more of a Christmas cookie, and that's what I'm excited for. But, you know, uh, I actually talked to the owner of Gideon's, and he said he really wanted to have something more for Thanksgiving before uh, Christmas. So that's why they're going to have a Christmas cookie for, like, this, for December. And I'll be back for it, because I love them. Can't get enough of the Gideon's cookies. <laughs> I think I'm gonna parcel this out and save it for later. Yeah, it's always good to actually take Gideon's cookies home because they taste just as good a couple hours later. And look, I got chocolate all over me. I need to find somewhere to wash my hands. Now that the cookie business is done, I think we're gonna head right on over to Jock Lindsay's hangar bar or Jock Lindsay's holiday bar and see all the holiday offerings that they have there. Now they have a lot more than they did last year or the year before that, so it's gonna be a hard to cover everything, but I'm gonna see what I can get the most of. Definitely some drinks. Some drinks are well due. I always love coming to Jock Lindsay's hangar bar, but I love it when it's the holiday bar. The decorations in here are so amazing. I love it. Look at this. So fancy. Ooh, ooh. It's like I'm walking into a cozy living room with all the Christmas decorations. It is so beautiful in here. We got our table and I like that you can hear Christmas music in here and you can stare at all the pretty lights and they actually have a holiday beer that's like a Dunder and Blitzen or Blixen, kind of like a, uh, you know, play on the reindeers and it is a winter ale and it's 8.8% alcohol and that is very high and I'm excited to try it. You know, I like holiday beers but also they have some holiday desserts like the lump of coal and I seen it on the menu and I want to try it. Last year they had the cookies and milk and I think they brought it back and it was just a bunch of cookies with coquito and uh, I think I'm going to try the lumps of coal this year. Something new, you know? Luckily, I ran into a friend to actually do my lumps of coal with and drink some beers, and it's Erica, all things parks. Look at that, you got some Christmas lights behind you. Cheers! <laughs> I also was inspired to get this beer because I thought they said Dunder, like Dunder Mifflin. So I was like, okay, I'll take it, but I can't wait to try it. Oh yeah, that is very hoppy. It's got a kick. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready? Oh wow. That is something else. That is a lot. Oh, it smells so good. I know, it smells like fire. Wow. Can we just have that smell? I wish. <laughs> I wish we bottled it. Yeah, that nice. would be amazing. Oh wow. This looks good. What do we do with them now? So, so they're Oreo balls. Oh, the Oreo and chocolate. Nice. And then the dipping sauce is a uh, a fireball cinnamon sauce. Oh, this is gonna be good. I did not. That was so so good, and I love this smell. Like I said, I wish I could have the smell. And he said they're like Oreo chocolate balls, and they look like lumps of coal. And then we got the sauce. What was the sauce? Did he say? Fireball. Fireball. Ooh, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost my coal in the sauce here, so I'm gonna try to pull this out delicately. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> there we go. We're going in. These are so, so good. Look at the inside there. And the uh, fireball sauce actually really 
really makes it. I mean, honestly, I think I would prefer it with the Fireball than it on its own. And I just can't get over the smell of it. Also, the fire is a glow cube, so if you want to change the colors, you could. You could kind of make like a mystic fire. It's a mystic fire, coal on the fire. <laughs> I would definitely say to get the cookies and milk instead of this. I mean, this is good. It's cheaper. It's $12, and you get five of the Oreo bites. And I like the fire whiskey sauce, but the coquito and the cookies and milk are way better. And that's like $23, I believe. And you can you have enough to share it with. But this is kind of fun. The presentation is cool, and I like the smoke. So, I mean, it's, it's a festive dessert. What can he say? Now that we've gotten our lumps of coal, which actually it wasn't too bad. Like I ate maybe one and a half and Eric ate like one and a half and we still have one left over. It is a very sweet, heavy dessert. Uh, I think we're gonna move along and we're gonna go try the Santa Claus crepe because I had that on the list from the beginning. I'm kind of really like already stuffed, but uh, I wanna at least try it. You know what I mean? I wanna add it into the mix, especially since I talked about it and I've been waiting for it to open at four o'clock and it's just about that time. Now we're gonna move along, like I said, and we're gonna head on over to the crepe stand. But I do wanna stop and get one more holiday drink. They actually have three Disney Springs holiday drinks that they have at the outside carts. And I figured maybe we'd try one of those to go along with the crepe, you know? Take a look at these fancy drinks right here. A Merry Margarita, a Fireside Cider, and a Mistletoe. And honestly, the Fireside Cider sounds pretty good. Cinnamon Whiskey, Stoli Vanilla Vodka, White Cranberry Juice, Grenadine, and Ginger Ale. And I think Erica's gonna get the Merry Margarita. So I, I think I'll get the Fireside, she'll get the Merry Margarita. Both of them sound really amazing though. Here are the drinks. Take a look at this. So this is the Fireside and this is the Merry Margarita and they have little lights inside of them. And this is the glow cube from the lumps of coal that Erica took from Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. So it doesn't normally come in that drink, but it needed to, it belonged in that drink. It, I mean, it, it belonged. It's a Merry Margarita. So here, cheers. Grab yours. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Merry Margaritas. <laughs> Good. Tastes like a fireplace. Yeah, it's like really good. Like fire cider, it's very you're wow. Eating. You're eating with the lumps of coal we're serving. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is how so they should have had this with the lumps of coal. It would have made sense. I made my way all the way back over here to get myself that Santa Claus crepe. And it's closed still. I don't know what's going on with the crepe stand. I feel like I let you guys down. I hyped up the Santa Claus crepe, but there's really nothing I can do about it. <laughs> kind of sad, you know? I want to know what that eggnog custard's like, so maybe I'll have to come back down eventually and try it. One day. Maybe they're actually just having staffing issues, and that's probably why they have limited hours, like 4 to 10. Uh, but yeah, I guess they just didn't open today. Maybe, uh, I don't know, no, because today's like Thursday, so it's like a very popular day. So it's not like it's a Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. For whatever reason, they're not open. They're just not open. And uh, instead, you know, I still got my uh, my drink. And I think uh, maybe I'll go see if it's snowping. You know, sometimes they actually have snow uh, where the main Disney Springs Christmas tree is. And I think it'd be pretty to take a look. As we make our way over though, I do want to show you the Haunted Mansion Christmas tree trail. I keep on calling it the tree trail, but it's actually a Christmas tree stroll because the tree trail doesn't exist anymore. And I like seeing the heartbeat in the bride right there. It's actually kind of terrifying. And there it is, the main Christmas tree all lit up. I was hoping that the snope started, but it doesn't look like it did. Usually the floor is a little bit snopey, but I don't see nothing yet. Still a little bit early out. It's still hard getting uh, uh, accustomed to the uh, uh, time switch here because now it's like really dark out. It's only six o'clock. So there they are. Maybe any second we'll get a blast of snow. I love how they have little hidden Mickeys on the ornaments here. Take a look at them right here. Can you see those little hidden Mickeys? Isn't that so nice? These ones, for some reason, aren't working right now. I think they're having a little electrical issue. 
but it gives me an opportunity to show you the hidden Mickeys at least. I wanted to come and actually get a cupcake from Sprinkles, because you know I have to get my pup cake, but it says, sorry, we are sold out for the day. What is Gracie gonna think of this? I bet you they're not sold out of the, the doggy cupcakes though. I mean, I can see they're probably sold out of the other ones, but not the pup cakes. Looks like they do have a couple of the items here, like the Nutella French toast, which is a yellow cake filled with whipped Nutella topping, maple cream cheese frosting, and uh, finished with a cinnamon sugar. And then they got the pumpkin one. I had the pumpkin one, I think, but that Nutella French toast one looks good. It's so, so good. Wow. But I don't think I can get it. Instead, we're just gonna stick to the little pup cake for Gracie Girl. Well, I guess with that, uh, we're done here. I got uh, Gracie her little cupcake. I feel like I've been at Disney Springs forever. I got here at 12 o'clock and now it is almost eight o'clock. That is eight hours at Disney Springs. I mean, I know I had to wait a little bit because of uh, Gideon's and stuff like that, but wow, eight hours at Disney Springs. I mean, that's, a, that's an impressive night, but I'm loving all of the different like November offerings and I want to come back and I saved a couple of items for December so I can come back in December and try the Santa Claus crepes, but there are so many other places that are offering things and I'm excited to actually do these videos all the time. Like I said, I've been trying to do like a monthly recap because they always have new stuff. Like I didn't do Amorettes yet and that's usually one of the places I go to and uh, yeah, like I said, December, brand new cookies at Gideon's and maybe a new coffee too and uh, yeah so hope you enjoyed the video uh, my glasses are fogging up <laughs> I'll see you next time oh we gotta take Gracie your cupcake who's my pretty little princess you want a treat you want a cupcake huh all right here we go come on yes yes oh there we go What are you doing? Where are you taking it? <laughs>